Good evening, I am Firuza Nuriyeva. Welcome back to Nakhchiva News program in English. Follow us to be informed of the latest events took place over the last week. The chairman of Supreme Majlis, Mr. Vasif Talabov, visited military unit in Jinnit village and also inauguration of the newly restored Garabaglar Tomb complex. As usual, let's have a look to the official news. 10 July 3rd, the chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vaisif Talibu, visited the military unit in Gunit village and simultaneously met with the servicemen serving there. Thereupon, the Zilgaya observation point was visited by the chairman of Supreme Majlis and got acquainted with the position of our front line. It was noted that as a result of successful operation in depths of 7 kilometers, the following strategical points have been taken into the observation of the detached army such as Validag, the Aksal mountain in the direction of Kemurludag, the Gazalgaya mountain, Yagajardich mountain, Bagarsak mountain, and also Hasengulubag area. The advantage of these high points conquering enabled to have regular observation over automobile way in the direction of Irevan, Yehegen, Zurg, Joruslats, and Hanchende highway. For the purpose of guaranteed defense and increase the maneuverability of the units and timely excavation and provision, more than 50 kilometers of new way were constructed, and in parallel, more than 60 kilometers of useless ways were reconstructed. New fortification positions were established in the strategically important Arpatsai Water Reservoir. In a short time, engineering construction works were carried out for the purpose to set up intertrench relations, constant communication facilities were established and additional trenches were excavated. Guaranteed defense systems were established on the top stations along with the front lines. The chairman of Supreme Majlis stressed out the importance of the measures in defense deeds to be continued and also gave relevant instructions on reinforcing defense system. Meanwhile, different food products were delivered to the warehouse of the military unit. On July 3rd, the chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasif Talibov, met with the beekeepers in Gunnut village. The Supreme Majlis chairman greeted the beekeepers, saying, Gunnut was famous for its bee honey. Today, necessary conditions have been created to use the area. Our lands are protected and new roads are constructed. These lands are useful for agriculture. Beekeepers and also farmers should use these opportunities properly. Beekeeper Redzeb Nedzefov said, We were longing for Gunnut village for a long time, and even we could not approach this area as two miles. But thanks God, today 26 kilometers of vast area are exploited by its own landowners. We have full trust in our state and its army. We are proud of Azerbaijan and its mighty and glorious army. Beekeepers Elyar Mehmedov and also Fikrat Mehmedov also thanked the chairman of Supreme Majlis. Following this, the chairman of Supreme Majlis noted that further suitable conditions will be created in this land and also thanked the beekeepers. On July 5th, the chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasif Talubo, visited Gavrak settlement to see done works in the new residential building for young families. He was informed that the main building was completed in the residential building consisting of seven floors, including the basement floor and two entrances. At present, facet facing works are carried out and flats are repaired. In the 48 roomed building, two elevators will be put into operation, service area will be created in the basement. 36 flats are two-roomed and 12 of them are three-roomed. All building was fully communicated. Also reconstruction works will be carried out in the yard of the residential building and also car parking will be put into operation. The chairman of Supreme Majlis gave relevant instructions on completion of the construction works on its deadline as for October end. On July 5th, the chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasif Talibu, was interested in the construction works carried out in the new residential building built for the officers of the military unit in Govrak settlement of Kengerli region. It was noted that the building with 44 flats will consist of five floors. Construction works have been completed at the ground floor of the building. All living conditions will be created in the two, three and four-roomed flats. 
A separate heating system will be installed, furniture sets and other household items will be placed. The yard of the building will also be reconstructed and also the car parking will be put into operation. Then the Supreme Medalist Chairman also watched near recreation parking Gavrak settlement. It was reported that to enjoy the residents and servicemen new flower beds and ways were led. A fountain and a modern lighting system bench car parking will be installed. The chairman of Supreme Medalist gave instructions on the quality of construction works at the residential building and recreation park and also the expansion of the highway in the area. In accordance with the order of the Chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakchivan Autonomia's Republic on July 4, 2016, the Garabaglar Tomb Complex, one of the rare examples of Turkish Islamic culture in Garabaglar village of Kengerli region, was restored on scientific and historical basis. The Garabaglar Tomb Complex was put into operation on July 5 after restoration. The Supreme Medalist Chairman Mr. Vasif Talubov cut a ribbon symbolizing the inauguration and thanked those who contributed to the restoration of Garabaglar Tomb Complex and congratulated the participants on the occasion of inauguration. Then Rev. Shan Husseinov recited the poem Garabaglar Tomb. According to the order of the Chairman of Supreme Medalist of Nakchivan Autonomous Republic, as for July 4, 2018, one person was awarded with the badge for services to the Nakchivan Autonomous Republic and two other persons for the Honorable Service Badge for the efficient activity in the restoration of historical monuments in the Autonomous Republic. The awardees were presented with their badges and certificates by the Chairman of Supreme Medalist. Then the Chairman of Supreme Medalist and also the participants of the event watched the Garabaglar Tomb Complex. It was informed that the Garabaglar Tomb Complex consists of a double minaret and a header connecting them and also a Khanejah and a tomb. By times the buildings underwent weathering and destroy. The basis of the complex is said to be the Garabaglar Tomb, one of the pearls of Nakjivan architectural schooling. The architectural features of the tomb, the technique of its inscriptions and other signs enable to say that it is the example of Nakjivan architectural schooling. The tomb that belongs to the tower memorial constructions is a combination of 12 cylinders. The Garabaglar Tomb is about 10 meters in diameter and currently 60 meters in height. The end part of the 16th sentence of Quran Karim al mumin is engraved on the top part of the head arcs. During the restoration, the historical appearance of the monument was preserved. Exhibits were placed in the Khanejah part of the complex. Here are the ancient household items reflecting the people's lifestyle as well as material and cultural samples found during archaeological excavations in the area. A fund and workrooms were created in the building. Five people were provided with jobs. The complex was equipped with necessary equipments. There is also a new road to the monument complex, lighting systems have been installed in the area and also reconstruction works were carried out. In the end, a memorial photo was taken with the Supreme Medalist Chairman. We continue our program with the latest social economic news. Further more information on the done works and held events in our next news blog. The State Agency for Control of Anti-Monopoly and Consumer Market provided five air conditioners to the military unit of the detached army in connection with the 100th anniversary of establishment of the Azerbaijan Armed Forces. Archaeologists of the Institute of History, Archaeology and Ethnography of Nakjivan Department of Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences started archaeological researches in Nakjivan Tepe settlement and also Tuzdag in Nakjivan city in order to determine the sequence of ancient urban culture formation. During the research on the area covering 200 square meters in Tuzdag on June 20s, ceramic products belonging to the Enneolites, Early Bronze Age, Iron Age and Medieval period were discovered. Excavation works continue in the area. The current situation and the forthcoming tasks on insurance were discussed in Babek region executive power. The situation on the compulsory insurance of real estate, compulsory insurance of motor vehicle owners' liability, home insurance, personal accident insurance and other types of insurance were analyzed in the region.
course on the application of subject curriculum was organized for the teachers of Heydar Aliyev Military School. All teachers of the military school were involved in the courses to last 10 days. The main purpose of the course is to further improve the knowledge and skills of teachers on new curriculum. The 26th issue of the scientific publicist journal Azerbaijani Carpets, published under the co-founding of the Azer Ilma Carpet Center and the Presidium of the Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences, was published. The magazine also provides information on Nakhchivan Carpets. For the purpose of healthy family formation, enlightening and especially identifying risk groups to have pre-marriage compulsory medical examination is very important. In the current year, 2051 people had pre-marriage registration medical examinations in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. Stein Karimov, the head of the Department for Struggle Against AIDS, gave an interview on this matter. Volunteer blood donation was held with the participation of Babak Region Central Hospital staff. In the campaign to help patients suffering from thalassemia and hemophilia, 9 liters of blood from 18 people were donated to the Central Blood Bank. For the purpose of examining inhabitants of summer pastures campaign employees of Ordubad Central Hospital and the Regional Hygiene and Epidemiology Center visited the villages of Junior. In total, 34 people received dental, pediatric, surgical, cardiological services. The Doctors' Brigade of Julfa Region Central Hospital provided medical care to the inhabitants of Demirli and Gedik summer pastures in Julfa Region and provided them with the necessary medications. The relevant bodies of Shahbuz region organizations visited the existing summer pastures of the region. Conference on Islam and Family Values was held at Nakhchivan University. The conference was attended by the heads of the city and regional religious communities and the Ghazi Council, teachers of higher educational institutions and also Nakhchivan University students. Next summer school was organized in Aghbulak Recreation Center by the Knowledge Foundation under the Chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. This time the summer school was attended by pupils of secondary schools operating in Nakhchivan. Beach season started in Nakhchivan city. Participants of the event held on this occasion got acquainted with the activity of rescuers and watched the diving equipments. The beach will be available from 11 a.m. to 8 a.m. The road transport complex in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic was established at the level of international standards. At present, reconstruction of Nakhchivan Intra-Regional Highways is underway as well as Julfordwat Highway is reconstructed. Nakhchivan Television employees got acquainted with their construction works on the roads. The fair on the sale of agriculture and food products in the central market of Nakhchivan was organized and various types of industrial and cultural products were put on sale. Agriculture and industrial products in 91 units and 103 types from 90 enterprises were presented at the fair. The counter to humanity crime and vandalism in 1992 in Khojale by Armenians are directed against nature. The very crafty Armenians did want to revenge by setting fires in our liberated territories around Junit village after taking back the lands by our army. Now the latest sport and culture news. Let's glance at the events in this field.
The 20th anniversary of the establishment of Jalil Memekuzaydeh's home museum was celebrated. Speeches were made on Jalil Memekuzaydeh's life and creativity. The composition of Nakhchivan State Musical Drama Siete named after Jalil Memekuzaydeh based on the photons of the writer caused great interest. The event ends with the watching the exposition of the museum. The 135th season was over in Nakhchivan. On this occasion, on July 3rd, Nakhchivan State Musical Drama Siete, named after Jalil Mehmetkozade, performed two stage performances based on the novel Sword and Pen by Mehmet Said Ordubadi. The collectives of a number of management enterprises and organizations in the regions of the Autonomous Republic visited museums. An excursion to the historical monuments of Ordubad was organized under the motto Get to know Nakhchivan by Shehbuz and Ordubad Youth. The excursion was organized by the Youth Association of Shehbuz and Ordubad Region Youth and Sport Organizations as well as New Azerbaijan Party Youth Union of Ordubad and Shehbuz Regions. The excursion of the youth working in the field of culture was organized to Parchi Imam Zayde and also Arpachai Valley in Sharu region. Excursions for taxi drivers who introduced the museums and historical monuments of the Autonomous Republic to the tourists visiting here continue. This time the drivers were in the Memorial Museum. Teenagers and young boxers competed in Nakhchivan City Championship. About 50 athletes participated in the competition held in Nakhchivan Olympic Sports Complex and the matches were held in 18 weight categories. Nakhchivan has reached tourism potential. The potential will have enabled tourists to take interest in the ancient land each year. The tourist season has already started and revival is observed everywhere. One of the ancient historical monuments located in Nakhchivan is Garabaglar Tomb Complex, the rare example of Nakhchivan architectural schooling, for its construction and also inscriptions engraved on it. Let's watch our video material on Garabaglar Tomb Complex. In Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, preservation and restoration of historical and cultural monuments are always in the focus, as in all regions of our country. Based on the decree of the Chairman of Supreme Majlis as for December 6, 2005, on the organization and protection of historical and cultural monuments in the territory of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, started the beginning of a new stage in the study of historical monuments in the Autonomous Republic. Over 1,200 monuments were registered in the Autonomous Republic. Over the time, historical monuments underwent weathering and destroy. One of such monuments is Garabaglar Tomb. The order of the Chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, dated on July 4, 2016, on restoration and investigation of Garabaglar Tomb is another expression of that ancient and care for our ancient historical and cultural heritage. During the restoration, the tomb designs were returned to their original appearance. For this purpose, special patterns have been used to emphasize that patterns are in the same shape and size. The tomb was included in the initial list of the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage Fund on September 30, 1998 as part of Nakhchivan mausoleums. The Garabaglar tomb complex consists of a double minaret and a header connecting them and also a Khane Jahana tomb. By times the buildings underwent weathering and destroy. The basis of the complex is said to be the Garabaglar tomb, one of the pearls of Nakhchivan architectural schooling. The architectural features of the tomb, the technique of its inscriptions and other signs enable to say that it is the example of Nakhchivan architectural schooling. The tomb that belongs to the tower memorial constructions is a combination of 12 cylinders. The Garabaglar tomb is about 10 meters in diameter and currently 60 meters in height. The end part of the 16th sentence of Qur'an-i Karim al-Mumin is engraved on the top part of the headarchs. 
During the restoration, the historical appearance of the monument was preserved. Exhibits were placed in the Hanaja part of the complex. Here are the ancient household items reflecting the people's lifestyle as well as material and cultural samples found during archaeological excavations in the area. A fund and workrooms were created in the building. Five people were provided with jobs. The complex was equipped with necessary equipments. There is also a new road to the monument. Complex lighting systems have been installed in the area and also reconstruction works were carried out. That's Naktivan News program. For all fresh news in Naktivan, keep following us. Goodbye.